Hi everybody, it's Faith from Firesign Tarot. I hope everyone is well. Oh, I'm tired still. But I did get plenty of rest yesterday, so I'm a little bit better than I was. But enough about me. We're here to talk about you guys. And still just kind of letting the universe decide who I read next, because I'm not making any decisions this time around, I'm just let the cards do their thing. Alright, who are we reading for? Cancer! I guess the universe has decided to give you another go around, so let's see if your energies have cleared out. don't take this the wrong way. I think this is kind of funny because when I woke up and said, oh, I need to get a couple readings done this morning before I go to work. The first thought that popped into my head was, God, please don't want to be cancer. And what do you know? It's the first one. Anyway, I guess the universe has messages for you. This reading will be for cancer. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. It resonates with you. Cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. Just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay, too. It's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with every cancer. And I'll be honest, with some of the soap opera freaking readings I've been doing the last couple of times I've sat at this table... It resonates, it resonates, I guess, you know. If you want something that resonates a little bit better, you might want to check your moon rising or Venus sign readings. Just a suggestion, you don't necessarily have to. It all depends on how the stars were aligned at the moment of your birth, really. <sighs> Time and energy are both fluid. All things can be, but vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And your cross watchers, you're always welcome here. And a message to all of those who might not like me so much, if I've ruffled a few feathers the past couple of weeks, I apologize. I have a great big personality. And I acknowledge that about myself. And I desperately try to keep it in check. Like big Mama Sag personality. It's weird. Sometimes it's really hard for me to not go into mom mode. I'm not here to tell anybody how to live. I'm not. It's not my journey. I don't judge people. I try not to. Okay, enough about that. Cancer. A couple more shuffles. See what the cards have in store for my cancer friends today. For the second half of June. Kind of put this. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to like lay it up here. There we go. Okay. Why are you here, Cancer? Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Perhaps you're juggling some emotions. Things are a little bit out of balance. Possibly a misstep between the one and the three. Hmm. Setting up for some shaky foundations. All right. What do you feel about the person you're dealing with? The star. You may feel a spiritual connection to them that is extremely strong. You also may feel like they are beginning a process of healing. Mm. 
Okay. Perhaps it's an Aquarius you're dealing with. If you're keeping track of that, just make a mental note. What do you think of them? The Magician in the Reverse. Oh my. You could perhaps think they're manipulative. Could be. Could be an Aries you're dealing with. Or trying not to deal with. Take it however it resonates. Manipulation. We'll throw a clarifier on it to be sure. It could also mean just something just didn't manifest in their life. But I manipulation, manipulation. I, I don't know. I don't like to finger point because that just leads me into dark water. Okay. What do you want from them? The Four of Swords reversed. There's restless energy here. Definitely going to throw a clarifier on this. You could not want them to be restless. Or you could want them to be a as affected by whatever is going on as you. Take it however resonates. How do they feel about you? Page of Cups reversed. They feel a lack of emotion. Lack of expression of love. Okay. Something's been cut off. What do they think of you? Seven of Cups in the reverse. They feel an energy of confusion. Or they think they ran out of options. Take it however it resonates. What do they want from you? Nine of Cups in the upright. They, they just want you. They just want. They just want you to be happy. They either want you to be happy, or they want to be happy again themselves. They want emotional fulfillment. Okay. What's the obstacle here? Five of Cups. A great deal of sadness. There's three spilt cups. And someone in this scenario is failing to see the two cups that are still full. Okay. It can be done. The Empress pops up. You could be dealing with someone that you have a family with. You could be dealing with someone that you were married to. Or you have children with. It's, just, it's... We're going to throw a clarifier on that. Wow. Oh, wow. Coffee's kicking in. clarify with the Tarot Illuminati today.
universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards and the table for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the second half of June, please. Wow, these cards do not want to shuffle today. I don't know if it's my hands. These things are stiff today. Oh my goodness, why? They're saying, we're ready to talk. Stop shoveling. We'll talk. We'll talk. Okay. This is an interrogation. Wow. All right. Why is the star here? Why is the star card here? Ace of Cups. Oh, wow. Yes, there is a healing that needs to take place that, that has begun. Perhaps you're getting a new start with someone else. Perhaps they are. The Ace of Cups is the indicator of when something cycles back around. It's new starts, it's new beginnings, it's new full cups with new people. Okay. Okay. Why is the magician reversed here? Queen of Cups in the reverse. Could be an Aries that you're dealing with with this magician card. Again, doesn't necessarily have to be. It's a closing off of emotions. L possibly a little bit of off the cup manipulation, trying to pull puppet strings in one's favor. I, th I think perhaps you sensed it. There's there's a closing off of emotions. Someone was just. The emotions are there, but they're ignoring them. Someone's protecting their cup. There's a lot of pain here. Why is the Four of Swords reversed here? Queen of Swords in the upright. Someone's having a hard time laying this to rest because they want the truth. Even if it's cold, even if it's going to rip out guts, they want the truth. Wow. That is fucking deep. Why is the Page of Cups here reversed for how the other person feels about cancer? I want to cry. Oh my gosh. Cancer, I love you, but why do you have to make me cry? Temperance reverse popped up. Um, someone feels like the other person was extremely impatient. They weren't saying what needed to be said. They weren't expressing it in a way that it needed to be expressed or should have been expressed. They may have possibly been dumping the cup.
energies weren't flowing right. Could have been a sad you were dealing with, possibly. Okay, why is the Seven of Cups reversed here? The Five of Wands is down there. Give me a second. More fire sign energy. Leo in particular. It's the it's confrontation. They were left no other option because of the confrontation, because of the fighting, the bickering, the arguing. Cancer, apparently someone sees you as extremely argumentative. Left with no other option. Perhaps being left confused about how someone truly felt. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Two of Cups reversed. Oh, wow. All the other person wants is, is happiness and emotional fulfillment for the both of you. If you have to disconnect to find happiness, that's what they want. Wow. Mm. Why is the Five of Cups here for the challenge and the obstacle? Seven of Wands reversed. Why you gotta make me do math this early? Really? Okay. Yeah, I talk to the universe like that. Yeah, I do. I'll have to answer for it when I get where I'm going, but that's how I talk to the universe. There's sadness. The obstacle is constantly kicking over each other's cups. Making it real hard to see the cups of blessings that are left. Two little cups. When you're constantly kicking over each other's cups and you lose control of the situation, you're left stuck at that crossroads. Five from seven is two. Five from seven is two when you're stuck. Numerology and the tarot.
lost control. One more on that. Nine of Swords reverse popped out. A reversed card is hard to read. It really is. That's why some people just flat out don't fucking do it. It can be the negated effect or the amplified effect. I think this is split story. One person is just trying to come out of their head about it. And that's the obstacle. They're, they don't want to think about it. They don't want to deal with it. They just want it to be over and done with. And the other person is slowly going back crap bonkers over the whole thing. It's hard to tell who's doing what at this point, Cancer. You may be a little bit of both about it. You don't want to deal with it anymore. You're over it. You just want it to be over and done with. But you're still hung up. Because you don't know why. This is ripping my guts out, by the way. I, I'm sitting here trying not to sob. This was painful. Why is the Empress here? Judgment reversed. And the devil reversed. Oh, okay. This was a soulmate union. Indeed, indeedly do it was. Again, this could be someone you have children with. Doesn't necessarily have to be. But in order for something to resurrect out of this, you have to let it die the judgment card it, it it's the end of the story it, it's the step before the world i mean it, it's card number 20 the tens indicate change transition you have to allow this process to transition and there was a lot of negative things here and that amount of toxicity it's not good you have to disconnect from that with this double reversed. The 15. It, it's the space between transitions. It's the hurdle. The fives are hurdles. Shifts. You have to come out of this toxicity. I think, I mean, obviously, if it's resonating, and the piece about having children together is resonating. Or it being a family situation. That's always going to be there. But you have to get out of the toxic part. You have to allow things to evolve and die to be resurrected and things to change.
you have to allow and let go. I know it's hard, but you got to do it. If anything, to save your freaking sanity. To start sleeping better at night. Okay, let's get your advice, Cancer. Oh, wow. The Knight of Swords reversed in the tower. Let the tower fall. But don't let the tower fall based on what you're hearing from other people. Dial direct. I'm not seeing this as a communication off advice. I'm seeing this as a, why don't you just go ask the person? Accept the truth and only the truth and let the tower fall. The Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. House plants. You may have to accept that this house plant ain't gonna grow. Or it's best left outside on the back deck. And if it returns, it returns. If it does not, it does not. If it does not, it was not meant to. Let time tell the tale. Four of Wands and the Six of Wands popped out back again on your advice. Two Sixes. Allow stability to be restored and allow new doors to open. And allow a return to yourself and a victory in the newness. Oh, I love it. The Hanged Man and the Queen of Pentacles. I love it. Accept this for what it is. And if only for a moment, try to see it through their eyes. Because you figure out a lot when you take a good hard look at yourself. I, I like to call this the mirror card. When you try to see things from the other person's perspective. accepting it for what it is. And the Queen of Pentacles, this is a card of empowerment. This is a card of finding your own self-worth again. This is a great card. You're a catch, Cancer. You're a catch. You have a lot to offer. Accept it for what it is and find your self-worth again. Okay? Cancer, I love you guys. You guys have always been so supportive of us here at the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Sorry for the delay. Just know that you love to be blessed. And I'll catch you guys for the first half of July.